What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Raise. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. We hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we are going to talk about the young star on the rise, Hero Fins Tiffin. If someone said that Hero Fins Tiffin was genetically developed to become a leading man in the film industry, then we can't call them wrong. Of course, he descends from a line of successful and talented people who have been a part of Hollywood. For example, his charming uncle Joseph Fins, who was the male lead and Oscar winner for Best Picture, Shakespeare in Love. But there is no denying that Hero has a charm of his own. This 22-year-old British hunk has been finding success in the industry. The major breakthrough for him comes with his latest role of Harden After. There is no denying that this young and charming actor has performed this Harry Styles-inspired role to perfection. The character he plays is bad-tempered, but Hero is nothing like this. And from the eyes of his fans, he is a pure delight. Here's one thing for sure. Hero has huge potential and burning desire to become the best in business. He is already on an upward trajectory and there is no denying that he's got the knack for it. In fact, he has been working hard ever since his childhood. We'll talk about his famous childhood role later in the video. But one interesting fact for now is that he is also a model. He has worked for H&M and also for Dolce & Gabbana. He has gained millions of followers on Instagram where he promotes the majority of his work. He has a newly devoted fan base who love to swarm his page and leave appreciative comments. In this video, we're going to take a look at his movie roles and other acting ventures. Bigger Than Ben Let's start off with his first ever acting debut. In 2008, he made his first appearance on the big screen with Bigger Than Ben, which he played the role of Spartak. The flick was actually a British black comedy film. In this movie, he got to work with Ben Barnes, Ovidio Matheson, and Andrei Shadov. The movie was well received by critics and Rotten Tomatoes reported that 65% of the critics gave it positive reviews. Not bad for an acting debut. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince Now, let's talk about his breakthrough role of his career. He played the role of Tom Riddle, aka Young Lord Voldemort, in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. This role has proved to be both beneficial and controversial for him. He was 11 years of age when he starred in this film, and he indeed proved with his performance that he was the perfect choice for this role. Thousands of young people auditioned for this role, but it was a hero who made the cut. This led to several publications citing that he landed the role because of his family background. As we have mentioned earlier, Hero comes from a distinguished and talented family who is already in the showbiz industry. His mother is a director and a writer, and his father is a cinematographer. And on top of that, his uncle, Ralph Fins, was going to play the role of Lord Voldemort in the film. Therefore, when it was announced that Hero had been selected after thousands of young stars had auditioned for this role, Several publications assumed that it was mainly his family background which helped him land the role. Therefore, his role in the movie as young Voldemort had always been considered to be controversial. When director David Yates was asked about this, he was told that it was certainly Hero's incredible delivery and his ability to find dark space in the script was the main reason for him getting the role. He went on to say that Hero being related to his uncle Ralph Fiennes may have helped them in discovering him but this wasn't the main reason for him being casted for the role. David said that Hero was a very focused and disciplined individual, and they found that his performance and delivery was hauntingly great for the role. He had this incredible ability to find the dark spaces in his lines, and he had all the odd and dark moods for the true spirit of the character. This made him a perfect choice to bring the haunted and dark character of Tom Riddle alive on the screen. Secondary roles After his role in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, he took a break from acting and focused on his studies and personal life. Although he did some modeling gigs in between, but he knew that it was acting which he enjoyed the most. He had been offered with some scripts during the time, and he decided to do some to quench his thirst for acting. These include appearances in Private Peaceful, a 2012 flick in which he played the role of young Jack. In this movie, he got a chance to work with Jack O'Connell, George McKay, Alexandra Roach, and some other well-known artists. He also appeared with Possession with Intent to Supply, 2016, and played the character of Jack in it. 
After all these ventures into acting with minor roles, Hiro was looking forward to a lead role and he had been offered with some scripts. But it was the script of After which caught his attention. He knew it was the perfect opportunity for him to land his first ever leading role in this adaptation of a best-selling book. He auditioned for the film by Skype. After this, he was invited to Los Angeles for the chemistry read. Hiro knew he had given his best for the audition. He recalls a fun moment when his agent got the call from the production house and told him that he had failed to land the role. But he laughed seconds later and told that he had been selected. He revealed that it was the complex nature of the character which led him to select the script. The mystery and complex nature of the character was what attracted him the most, and it is actually fun for the audience to see the unfolding of many sides of the story. No doubt, After was a hit among masses and gained Hero a devoted fan base. Some of you probably know that After is based on the novel of same name by Anna Todd. The novel was already a hit and bestseller, but it gained even more popularity after the debut of the film. Draw me to water. You could draw me to the gallows. You could draw me to any death. Todd always knew that this would be the next big thing, and she actually warned Hero that it would get insane popularity that will shoot him to stardom. He was skeptical about it at first, but after the amazing response for the film, he realized that she was actually right. He is now recognized by people wherever he goes. He says he is overwhelmed by such an amazing response. Hero received acclaim for his performance and went on to win two awards. But one thing was criticized about the movie by several publications. It was that the movie was highly romanticizing a toxic relationship. This was referenced to Hero's character who has toxic traits. And Tessa, played by Josephine Langford. But Hero explains in his interview with W Magazine saying, It's very, very far from a perfect relationship. But yes, it's by no means a guidebook. But hopefully just an entertaining story of one couple who are trying to figure out if their love is going to work, if it's worth it, and if the other person is right for them. Although the movie got mixed reviews from the critics, it was trending on Netflix across the globe, and Hero was praised for his performance. The movie grossed around $45 million on the box office. TV shows. Finns also has a good share of TV roles. He has starred as Lone Fuller in the Netflix thriller series Safe, which is based on a novel by Harlan Coben. After his appearance in After, he had a role in the series Cleaning Up, which is about a single mother who decides to turn to insider trading to get by. Another interesting thing is that he has also auditioned for some famous role, but surprisingly got rejected. This include his audition for Dunkirk. and the second season of Stranger Things. The nerve of the casting directors, we're telling you! Side note, in Dunkirk, Harry Styles was casted instead of him. It is highly speculated by fans that his role in After is majorly inspired by Harry Styles. Upcoming projects. Hero loves to take on challenging roles. He does not prefer a specific genre for the movies and wants to be known as a versatile actor. He is still a newcomer and he has got a long way to go, but he's got the looks and he has the knack for it. Therefore, we're pretty sure that he won't have any trouble in making a prominent place in the film industry. For this, he has already moved on to challenging roles. This include his appearance in The Silencing, which is set to release later in 2020. He's going to star in the movie alongside Game of Thrones fame Nicola Coaster Waldo and Annabelle Wallace. The movie is a crime thriller and was ready to make debut on world premiere, but it had been halted due to the health concerns regarding virus. He is also set to reprise his role as Harden in the sequel of After, which is titled After We Collided. One thing he wants to achieve in his career is that he wants to be directed by his mother. He knows that they will argue a lot on set, but it would actually be a cool idea. Trust us, we think it would be fun to get new stories about them from sets. Our video concludes here. We hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.